from civil engineering department of Engine institute of engineering and technology so my dear students in the previous video we have discussed regarding the house drainage right what are the different principles of house drainage and what are the different appurtenances or what are the different uh, kinds of um, sanitary fittings that are used in the house drainage system okay so now we are going to start with the next topic that is the solid waste management okay so let us start with today's session let me begin with the introduction first let me ask you one question what is the population of world as of now okay so uh, a rough estimate is there that it should be approximately 7.7 .7 to 7.8 billion people right now next question i would like to ask is what was the population of india as per 2011 census okay so the answer is 121 crore people okay now do you know that out of this 121 crore people 42.9 uh, crore people live in urban area okay and these people create 62 million tons of garbage per year right out of which 5.6 million tons of garbage is including plastic waste 0.17 million tons includes biomedical waste okay then 7.9 million tons includes hazardous waste okay and 1.5 million ton includes e-waste but the maximum is 43 million tons and that is solid waste generation okay so do you know how this 43 billion tons of solid waste treated so only 22 to 28 percent of the waste that is approximately 11.9 million tons is treated whereas the rest 31 million tons is dumped on the landfill sites okay so which is the largest landfill site in india do you know the answer is Ghazipur, which is located in Delhi. It has 70 acres of land and on a daily basis 3000 metric tons of solid waste is dumped on this particular landfill site. Okay, This is 65 meters tall and uh, it, it was already overshot by 15 feet in 2002. Let me show you the picture so that you will get a clarity that how this Ghazipur landfill site looks like. Okay. So moving forward. Now coming to the main topic. What is meant by solid waste? So solid wastes are the waste which are created by human or animal activities that are normally solid and that are discarded as useless or unwanted okay that we don't have to use it again and the, the, those wastes are unwanted right usually the term refuse is often used in place of solid waste okay so let us now discuss regarding some terminologies so the first one is the garbage 
So what do you mean by garbage? So it is the waste which is coming out of kitchen and which is organic in nature and it decomposes quickly. If I talk about its density, it's usually 450 to 900 kg per meter cube. So let me show you the picture of garbage. Okay. So in this, it will be usually uh, the peels of fruits and vegetables or discarded or stale food. Right. So all these things are included in garbage. Fine. Then talking about rubbish. So rubbish is the combustible or non-combustible solid waste which excludes which do not include food waste or any other nutritional material okay talking about typically combustible material it includes paper cardboards plastics textiles rubber leather wood furniture and other garden trimmings okay talking about the non combustible material in which included which are included in rubbish are glass crockery tin cans like pepsi or coca cola cans aluminum cans ferrous and non ferrous metals dirt and construction waste so talking about its density it is usually in between 50 to 400 kg per meter cube okay so this is the picture of rubbish let us now talk about ashes and residue so material which is remaining from burning of wood coal coke and other combustible wastes right are known as ashes and these are normally composed of fine powdery materials cinders clinkers and small amount of burnt and partially burnt materials talking about its density it is usually 700 to 850 kg per meter cube so this is ashes and residue okay let's talk about putrefaction so putrefaction is the process of decay or rottening in a body or other organic matter okay then comes the leachate what do you mean by leachate so you might have seen that when there is a stack of this solid waste some colored liquid uh, usually black colored liquid is running out of this stack okay so this colored liquid which is coming out of the stack is known as leachate. Let me show you the picture. So this is the leachate. Okay. Then next is demolition and construction waste. So the waste which are coming out from the buildings or other structures. Okay are classified as demolition waste right then waste from construction or remolding and preparing of residential or commercial or industrial building or other similar structures may include dirt stones concrete bricks right so these are known as the demolition or construction waste so this is the picture of uh, debris okay then comes special waste so waste such as street sweeping roadside litter catch basin debris dead animals abandoned vehicles are classified as special waste okay then Talking about treatment plant waste, so as we all have studied regarding water treatment plant and wastewater treatment plant, so whatever the sludge is there, right, we have to dump on the landfill site. Okay, so the solid and the semi-solid waste which are coming out 
from what uh, water or wastewater or industrial waste treatment facilities are included in treatment plant waste okay let us move ahead so talking about classification of solid waste so a uh, type of solid waste description and sources there is a tabular form okay so food waste that is usually garbage so the waste from preparation cooking and serving of food market refuse waste from handling storage and sale of meat and vegetables are included in food waste okay so what are the different sources for this households institutions commercial centers such as hotels stores restaurants markets etc okay then rubbish combustible material if i talk about then they are partly uh, sorry primary organic okay paper cardboards cartons wood boxes as discussed earlier right then non combustible metals cans dirt stones bricks etc okay sources are remaining the same then ashes and residue residue from fires used for cooking and for heating buildings cinders clinkers thermal power plants etc right then bulky waste large auto parts tires refrigerators and other appliances okay further talking about street waste so street sweepings dirt leaves catch basin dirt then animal droppings contents of litter rec receptacles dead animals okay clear yeah. so streets sidewalks alleys wagon plots are the some of the sources right so this is the classification of solid waste right then comes dead animals then construction and demolition industrial waste hazardous waste and horticulture waste so horticulture waste means tree trimmings leaves waste from parks and gardens right so where we get from parks gardens or roadside trees clear yeah. so this was in detail classification then further solid waste can be classified as municipal waste then hazardous waste and industrial waste let us talk about municipal solid waste okay so municipal solid waste include waste from residential open areas such as parks trees uh, sorry, streets playgrounds etc and treatment plants waste which includes right then apart from that garbage rubbish ashes demolition and construction waste so all these things are included in solid waste okay then classifying classifying solid waste so 9% is plastic 1% metal 8% paper 48% are the biodegradable matters then rags which includes 4% glass 1% inert material 25% and other 2% okay so next it is industrial waste right so industrial waste are those waste which are arising from industrial activities and typically include rubbish ashes demolition and construction waste special waste and hazardous waste okay so you can see the industrial waste picture further hazardous waste so the waste that pose a substantial danger immediately or over a period of time to either human beings plants or animal life are classified as hazardous waste okay now a waste is classified as hazardous waste if it exhibits any kind of characteristics like ignitability corrosivity reactivity or toxicity right in the past hazardous waste were often grouped into following categories that is radioactive waste chemical waste biological waste 
and flammable waste and explosives okay the chemical category includes waste that are corrosive reactive or toxic right and the principal source of hazardous biological waste are hospitals and biological facilities okay clear so my dear students this is the end of today's video we will start with some new topics in the next video